Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and we are back with our supply ship. As you guys can see right here, it is looking pretty good. Uh, in the previous video, we did some sea trials with this, and it actually worked really, really well. Um, you guys haven't actually seen that video of the time of uploading this, so if you've had any comments or anything like that that I don't actually do in this video, um, then I haven't seen them yet, so there you go. Anyway, uh, what I'm gonna do today is actually work on a bulbous bow and maybe some bow thrusters, depending on how far we get. So, let's go ahead and get straight to that, uh, before we die. Or actually, let's just die, and then we'll get to it. Three, two, one, bleh. Alright, so bow thrusters are not something that I generally add to my builds because I just don't enjoy adding them, uh, which is, uh, you know, probably fair, maybe. Anyway, uh, it's gonna have to go from about this point right here, so let's get into the X, there we go, the mirror mode, and delete a lot of this because a lot of it has to go. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and delete these guys as well, there we go, and presumably these guys on the bottom as well, there we go. So, how are we gonna go about doing this? Well, I think we can go with one of these guys, and I'm just gonna go ahead and build it in like this to begin with, I guess, there you go. So that goes onto there, we're then gonna do these guys from there, obviously, so this is gonna go this way. Just like that, there we go, very nice. And shove that guy onto there, just like this, uh, if we can. There we go, good. I'm gonna fill that guy in right there, and I'm gonna do this. Bosh. Okay, so, so far, so good. Realistically, I could actually change this, modify these guys into something a lot bigger, which actually might end up looking nicer anyway. So, let's go ahead and do this type of dealio. There we go. And it might look good in the end. It might also not look good in the end. We'll see. Alright, turn this around, put it onto there, and obviously we need to fill this bit in. There we go. So far, so good. Alright, so, uh, from there we're gonna have to work some things out. Honestly, this is gonna be kind of annoying uh, with the way this is built, but I'm sure it's fine, maybe. Um, the main issue that we're gonna have is actually merging these two pieces together. So maybe we do actually just do that for now, yes. And then maybe we build it all down. Uh, to fit with that. I'm not sure this is gonna work, but there you go. So something like this is fine We can then maybe build that around the bottom and Maybe that's okay, but realistically this sort of has to say somewhat flat for a while So I'm gonna go ahead and just build these guys out. There's one. There's two. We'll build the bottom bit out as well so something like this something like this and I'm probably just gonna do that. There we go. So yes, although that looks weird. I think it'll be fine. Alright, next situation, we are going to go ahead and add these guys. So, if I can press U, there we go. We should be able to send these pretty much all to the front, just like that. And we are going to have to do that essentially over and over and over again uh, to make this work out, I think. So, delete these guys from about there. It doesn't have to be very big, like it doesn't have to come out very far. And in fact, actually, I think we're already out far enough. It doesn't have to go out very far at all. We can just have a little bit of a nub. <laughs> let's go with a nub. All right, cool. So, let's build that into there. Very nice. We'll do this guy right here like this. Obviously, we'll have to do the same thing with these guys. Otherwise, we will have issues. And we're going to do it again. And again. There we go. All right, good. So, from there, let's go ahead and fix these guys on. There we go. Very nice. And continue it. Here we go. This is going to go from here upwards. There we go, very nice. And I don't think that's quite big enough, actually. So instead of that, let's go with these. Here we go. Those guys are gonna go up to there. We can then double it over, so use these. And yeah, we could go probably up to here. Bosh that onto there like that. That looks fine. All right, so all I'm gonna do now is pretty much round this off. So let's go ahead and put that guy onto there, just like this, yes. Uh, somewhat like that, and then we're obviously gonna have to do these guys uh, sideways from there upwards. There we go. Deleting those guys. Fix this piece onto here like this, and yeah, just round it off a little bit more. That's all we need to do. Right, so this is the current situation. It doesn't really look that good. <laughs> it really doesn't, uh, and that's kind of annoying me. I think we need to blend it in with the ship a little bit more. Probably by actually making this bit on the bottom go out to it. 
Uh, which means that we need to somewhat delete a lot of more of this. I don't know. Before we do that, let's go ahead and just paint a lot of this. Uh, and we could probably go from there. So let's just do this all the way around. There we go. And then we should be able to just jug in the bottom sides. So, like, all of this. There we go. There we go. All the way around, including the front. And obviously the bottom. There. And the side. So what does that look like so far? It looks okay. We're then going to go ahead and do red. Uh, on all of these pieces, obviously. And I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know how I feel about it at all. I feel like it's not quite right. But it's what we've got, so it's what we're going to stay with for now. All right. Let's just go and shove these guys back onto here. Just like this. Bosh. And then what I am going to do is actually fit one of these onto there like that. And then maybe do this. And maybe that'll look nicer. Maybe it won't. Who knows? I actually don't mind that. From here, it looks okay. I think so. I never add these because I'm just not very good at making them look good. So, um, yeah. It really doesn't look very good. <laughs> I don't like it. Anyway, uh, bow thrusters and stuff like that. How am I going to go about doing those? Well, originally, I was going to actually place one in the side of here. But now that I think about it, I might actually go to the side somewhere possibly around here, and just add them into there, maybe. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, try and put a bulbous bow in, not a bulbous bow, what am I trying to say? Um, a bow thruster, yes. Uh, somewhere in here, so I'm thinking, if I delete, let's say like four of these, there you go, uh, we get quite a nice shape out of that. What I'm then gonna do is essentially just follow that shape along just like this and all of that area down here is going to be used, and it's going to be open to the outside. So, it's a little bit strange. In fact, it's very strange. But, maybe it'll work out. I think in the end, it actually will. But, um, we'll have to see. So, let's go ahead and send that across from there to there. Uh, the least way we can possibly do is better. So, like, deleting any pieces uh, that are doubled uh, is a good idea. What I'm then going to do is... Oh, you know what, actually? We can probably get away with deleting these. There we go. Delete that. Delete this. And these guys. And then just put one of these in. Ah, there we go. Um, that might make us struggle a little bit, but we'll see. So, what I'm going to do is jug this in. Uh, it's all going to be the color of the bottom of the ship. That's fine. And then, essentially, what we need to do is delete that guy. Get ourselves a pipe. If uh, the bit that we just put in becomes a bit of an issue... Uh, above us, uh, this guy, then we could get rid of it. But for now, let's just go ahead and build this out into here. We'll then send it out to both sides using a pipe. And yeah, just shove it out there. One, two, three, four. Obviously, I don't need two propellers for this, but it's fine. So propeller, yes. Uh, there is variable uh, pitchable propellers now, which is kind of cool. But that's not really what we're going for here. Large propeller, that won't fit, will it? It'd be really cool if it did. But it doesn't. Is there... That's huge, alright. That's a giant propeller. Is there a small one? Pitchable propeller. That's huge. Again. Small. Ah. So I'm thinking if we can fit that into there, that would be great. Unfortunately, uh, we do have to delete this and go back to where we had it. Although we can just do that for a certain bit of it. So if we just do this... That will be fine. We can then obviously like paint these guys in. Uh, and that bit. And I think that'll be okay. Although it does look a bit weird. <laughs> it looks very weird. Um, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and do something along the lines of this. And I guess this. There we go. And then behind that, I might actually shove one of these guys under here like this. And then sort of box it off behind. I don't know whether boxing it off is the right move here, but maybe it is. And if it is, that's good. So let's go ahead and paint this bit white. There we go. And have a little look at it from here. Yeah, you can't really see too much going on, and I think that's how we sort of want to keep it. Let's go ahead and paint those guys like this. And I think that's fine. We'll leave it just like that. Okay, so the way I see it, we can just add some clutches in there now, and uh, it should just do. So, if we go inside of here, we delete this guy and this guy on both sides, obviously. We then get ourselves this color, which is pretty close to what the outside is. There you go. 
Uh, we can then just do it. These are obviously pitchable as well, so they can both work in the same manner. Actually, that might be a better idea. If we just have them both work together, that'd be fine. So we have this go, like, inverted to this one, and they'll both work. So, let's go ahead and test that out, shall we? Get ourselves a motor, and just shove it directly onto there. Uh, we are gonna have to throttle that up and stuff, but that's fine. How is this red? How have I accidentally- Oh, is it because of the- <laughs> It's because of this! Alright, that's fine. We'll have to fix that. Or paint it a different colour, but that's okay. So, in fact, let's go ahead and jug that now. And then we'll go to the front, get the reds, and we'll just paint around this. There, that works. Alright, good. So, uh, get ourselves a throttle lever. Alright, send it up to here. Yes. Uh, I think we should have them on both sides, actually, but that's fine. So let's just do this. And then we can either have like a left or a right, so that'll be on a button. Uh, a push button, if possible. There we go. So we can have this one be like, right. Bow right. There we go. And then this one can be like, bow left. Okay. And then we can do the same thing on the other side and that'll be fine. Bow thrusters. Okay. Right. This is interesting. Do the same thing on the other side and we'll go from there. Alright, so I've gone ahead and actually put an inverter on one of these, there you go, and uh, that's essentially all we need to do. I now need some uh, switch boxes in order to make this work, in fact, it is actually just... Oh no, actually it's two. It is two switch boxes. Uh, I think? Is it? I don't know, my brain's not working right now. Hang on. Alright, we're gonna go for two switch boxes, yes! So, uh, we're gonna go for on is one. And on is minus one, I guess. Yep, sure. There you go. So that is going to connect to here, and this is going to connect to there, I think. Uh, no, that's not actually quite how it works, is it? Not really. All right, so I decided to go a different route. Uh, so this is going to be our bow thrusters right here. Essentially, they're controlled by a throttle lever. This starts in the center, and it goes to minus one on the left, and it goes to positive one on the right. That is choosing the direction of both of these. What I want to do now is get ourselves a switch box purely for the motor. So if I can shove this on here, attach this guy straight into there, essentially, all we need is a button for this to be controlled. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a button straight away. Toggle button, shove that on right there. This is gonna be for bow thrusters motor. There you go. So that will actually enable the motor to go on. And then uh, we can obviously choose directions. So the on value is gonna be 0 0.1. 0 0.1, that'll do. Uh, right, let's see if that works. All right, so let's say we wanted to move. We go ahead and turn that on. The propellers are spinning, presumably. Yes, they are. We then do this to go to the left, and we do this to go to the right. Which I guess totally works. I think that's probably fine. We're not tipping over too much, but we are tipping over a little bit, but um... No, that, I mean, that totally works. I want it to be a hell of a lot slower than that, though. Because that is very, very quick. So, all we need to do is go down here. Go ahead and limit this to like 0.03 or something. So it's very, very slow. Uh, and I'm sure that'll be fine. We're also going to go for three blades and three blades. And that is it. Good. That does mean all of the pieces that were here are actually gone. And that also means we can actually delete the floor in here. Uh, add a ladder so we can actually get up into the bridge uh, from downstairs. And that'll be good. All right, there you go. Delete this guy real quick. Shove one of those in. And again, shove that in there. All right, nice. So you can actually get up from downstairs. Let's go ahead and delete every other one. There we go. And that looks awesome. Yeah. All right, fix all of that in. Very nice. We can now climb all the way up to the top. And we're in the bridge. Lovely. The other thing I'm going to do is actually fill all this in right here just to make it look a little bit nicer. That would be good. Um, I do obviously want this bit to look a hell of a lot nicer as well, but at the minute this is what we've got. Uh, but as long as the bow thrusters now work, I am happy with it. Let's go ahead and spawn it in again, just to see what it looks like from uh, outside. You know what, the bulbous bow doesn't look too bad from here. I think that's fine. Alright, let's test it out one more time with obviously uh, the slowed downiness. Here we go. 
and see how quickly that moves us out. You know what? That's still actually pretty quick. Not going to lie. It still works quite well. I'm happy with that. And then when you're done with it, you just put it back to the center. You turn off the motors. You can turn on your actual engines. Throttle them up. Throttle them up on the generators. And then you can actually drive away. Just like this. You know what? That's actually really sick. I like that. All right, so there we go. That is our current situation on our ship. It looks pretty nice. We've got a bulbous bow now, and we've also got bow thrusters. I am actually very, very pleased with that. The next video is probably going to be me adding some lights and stuff like that around the ship, because honestly, we kind of do need them. Um, the other thing that I would mention as well is we can now actually get up into the bridge. So if I go downstairs, we can now go out the back, and we can walk down the stairs all the way down to the bottom of the ship and yeah now everywhere is pretty much accessible even going into here beautiful there you go all right cool well anyway thank you guys very much for watching this uh it is kind of a short video but kind of a fun one so there you go anyway thanks for watching see you next time goodbye